Hello, I'm Danielle St. Velvet, and I am back with another burlesque tidbit and tease. Um, this is something that I learned in my years of doing some cheesecake pinup modeling, um, doing promo videos and promo um, photos for uh, making flyers and stuff like that, um, is making expressions with your face. So um, a big part of the tees in burlesque is not only the tees of the garments that you're taking off, but it's the story that you're telling in your face. So something that really works for me when I am doing a dance, like for example, like when I'm showing you guys, we're looking over our shoulders is activating your face like it's a muscle that you're using in your dance. So. You're not just going to turn around and deadpan the audience. You're going to turn around and serve them up some face. So different things for you to try if you feel really silly doing this is to try your classic kissy face, try a smile, try a frown. All of those things are really, really effective. Um, I've also known burlesque performers to play their music and sit in front of a mirror and do a whole facial run through with their choreography. So instead of being up there counting out what you're doing with your feet and your props, you know you're sitting in front of your compact or you're sitting in front of your mirror and you're doing a whole run through with your face um, in mind for your choreography. So when are you gonna make your face really light up? When are you gonna look really sad? Those are all the things that you wanna sort of be thinking about. <clears throat> so one little hack that I learned is the vowels. So when you say the vowels A, E, I, O, U, your face naturally goes um, in different directions, it changes. So what I would suggest is to practice doing your vowels and accentuating them even more. So pick a pose. So pin up, you can do like a little pin up pose. So you could do A, E, I, O, U. Practicing different little um, motions and gestures to kind of play on those like coquettish, cute, sad, joyful, sensual, all those different types of facial expressions using the vowels will help you. Um, sometimes I will do a total full choreographed routine while doing my vowels. So I have my routine, I know what I'm doing, and I don't know what to do with my face, I'll practice, you know, 32 counts with the A, and then I'll move on to E, and then I'll do U. Um, it just kind of keeps you from looking too flat or too deadpan. Um, so, so much of what we do in burlesque is translated through our face. So again, let's practice. Um, a, little smile, A, E, I, O, U. Very classic pinup. So when you look at those like old Vargas prints and you see all those beautiful pinup girls with that perfect pout, they're probably doing their vowels. So I would suggest practicing your burlesque routines or your dance routines and also practicing them in your face. And if you don't know what to do and you don't know how to like get the emotion out there, just rely on your vowels. The other thing that I've learned in dance classes is to try a whole new emotion. So one thing that's a little bit of a challenge that you could try is going through a dance routine um, in the happy emotion. It's pretty easy. You just smile and you act really goofy. Then you could go through your dance routine like in, in the sad phase. You do the whole thing in the sad phase or angry or whatever. You can make a whole list. I have a list on my mirror at home of emotions that I'm working on trying to portray. So try those things and practice your vowels and know that they are in your back pocket as a little showgirl hack.